Uh, our third. Our third speaker today is Professor Misuru Yeda. He's a professor of school from the School of Knowledge Science, Japanese Advanced Institute of Science and Technology, or JICE. He's also appointed as a counselor of JICE and the director of the Service Science Research Center. Uh, Professor Yeda, uh, in research interests are theory and application of ontology engineering. He is presently engaged in service science in the field of health and education. So, uh, so I'm very sorry for making wait, you wait. So the seven minutes I spent for setting up the projector. Thank you for very um, detailed introduction of my career. And I'm from Japan, Japan Advanced Institute of Science and Technology, and the, I'm an act as a director of the Service Science Center of JAST. And the, this center is um, established, funded under the School of Knowledge Science of JAIS. And the, this School of Knowledge Science is the first school in the world on this new science with knowledge as object, as ob objective and toward uh, knowledge society, 21st century. And based on the integration of the social science, management science, and system science, and the information sciences. So that we have a different, uh, pr many pro some professors from the each areas, management, information, and information technology, and the system science. And we do the study together to solve the actual practical social problems. And the service science is the application of this fusion of the three different fields of the sciences. And our goal is to integrate the wisdom of humanities and the sciences. So the, to solve these, to attack the problem in the service science, we really do believe the humanity issue is quite important. And to integrate the scientific, scientific objective wisdom and human subjective wisdom. So, and to offer a place where latest science and technological wisdom blend up with practical wisdom. This is the goal of our schools. So the service science center of the Center for Service Science Research is the field to um, do, to apply this, to test the goal, whether we can attain the goal in, of the knowledge sciences. And personally, I'm interested in the medical knowledge sciences. So the, the, there are five research topics I'm doing now, medical service knowledge circulation by medical recording system, and education program for medical knowledge co-creation skill, patients central quality indicator ontology, learning or knowledge sharing support of medical in incident analysis, and social network system to foster diabetes patient communities. So the among this, the I would like the one project from the educational perspective, the Medical Service Innovation Human Resource Development Project. This is the done by this is country we are doing the collaborative development among the three universities. One is University of Miyazaki, so medical university, medical Faculty of Medi Medicine and the Kurume University School of Medicine and the, our institute. So the, the, the so JAIST located here and the Kurume University is located in Kyushu and Miyazaki also Kyushu. 
So the role of the three, two, these three universities is the Miyazaki, University of Miyazaki and the Kurumi University has a collaboration to improve the regional medical quality of the regional medical services. And the, our institute provides the knowledge about the service science and the educational function of the, to improve the education perspective of the service sciences. So the stakeholders, the, most of the stakeholder is located in the Kyushu area, regional, and the one, this Innovation Body Institute, we have a collaboration with the, um, my, maybe the, the, this institute located in Dublin, and the, they have a good collaboration with the Microsoft. So this is the, our goal of the human resource, human resource development. So the pie shapes, and this is the knowledge science part. So provide the uh, educational um, programs to train the humanities thinking skills and the service knowledge creation methodologies. And the this side is medical informatics, medical to the, how to use the medical the informatics and how to um, use the how to design the medical recording systems. And this is the more how to say practical abilities, on-site on practical ability, regional cooperation and the hospital management or drug di dis discovery of medical safety. So that this is a practice and this is the This is the medical informatics, and this is nice sciences. So these, these three um, backbone is important. We think that these three backbone is quite important to develop the human resource. And the, these one, two boxes are the curriculum of the education. Of the, for, so the first, they, we provide the medical service statistics practice, and then the medical service statistical theory, statistics theory, medical service knowledge creation theory, and the medical service knowledge creation practice. Also the medical service statistics practice, and medical service innovation practice, medical service innovation practice. So the, we provide the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven lectures and they practice to the students. And this pink box, this box showed the, uh, uh, the our learning material of the medical recording systems. So the, this is the real medical recording system used in Miyazaki Hos University Hospital. So they just might discuss about the clinical pathway. This recording, this medical recording system used the clinical, clinical pathway as a basic interface for the medical doctors. So the so Basically, this direction, this shows the timeline of the um, treatment of the disease patients. So the date, first line is the date. And this is the first day uh, the patients become the impatient. And they, what they, these are the real data about the patients. And this is the order of the treatment. The, in general, the, what kind of the order should be treated. So the, 
in Miyazaki Hospital University, they share the workflow among the doctors using this electronic medical recording systems. And the, so it means the, we have a huge data of the real patients, and, but we cannot use the, this data for education directly because they, it's the very secure personal record. So they, we use a machine learning technology to, uh, to hide the personal information from the medical data. Um, names or the address or the even the for example the some patient introduced by a private hospital so this kind of the private hospital name also hi hid hidden by the system and we provide the students to use this data to think about the what the good service for the patient or something like that but the we found this one serious problem, so the, we cannot hide the, all the personal information because the, one example is the, the, there's a natural language description. This patient is a mother of the um, professor of the, the Miyazaki University Hospital, something like that. The, all, so the Miyazaki is he, trans, uh, anonymous, made anonymous, but the combination of the wording indicate the, a single professor in Miyazaki University, because they, maybe the, in Miyazaki University, the university, the family's patient, only Miyazaki University patient, so they, many students can guess who is the patient. So it was a serious problem. So they, after that, they, we always check the um, medical data by hand and provide the students to use it. And this medical recording system is developed by Miyazaki University. The own, so they, we can change change or um, adapt any part of the information systems for our goals. So if we use the medical recording system developed by Fujitsu or NEC, so they we really hard to change the some function in the medical recording system. But this medical recording system is developed by University of Miyazaki. It is not a, it is quite a rare case. One ho university hospital developed a medical recording system, but it works very well, and we are very freely change the functions by our research objective or the some in innovation objectives. So that we use the system for real education, and we also extend this in. Um, Kurume University also use this medical recording system, so they, we extend this educational program from the Miyazaki University to Kurume Universities. The, so the system features is standardization, quality control, and efficiency of medical care. So the clinical pass system and the ubiquitous. So they, they provide the medical EMR. It is called Watatsumi. And the third property is a financial cost analysis system for medical care, Miyakiri. So the, what we are doing now is to improve the quality of medical service by making a model of the medical go and goal of by clarifying the goal of the medical treatment. So the, let me show the example. So very simple one. So the pain, body of pain, now I, this slide explains the body of pains. So the from 
the doctor's viewpoint, the, sometimes the pain is a sign of disease. And from nurse's viewpoint, the, it is the, um, in between the patient's viewpoint and the doctor's viewpoint. From patient's viewpoint, the, it is a harm caused by disease. So the patients always want to dis the pains disappear. So the nurse is in between the doctor and the patients. And, to, and the first place, the nurse want to improve the quality of life of the patients. So the, the problem is the, if the doctor prescribe the painkiller to the nurse, the, the goal ca cannot be shared among, between the nurse and the doctors sometimes. The, so in this, to clarify this difference, the, we develop the medical service monitoring tool. So the, this is the intention structure. So I'm sorry, this is written in Japanese, so, but the, please imagine the, this is an activity on the medical recording system, like a, provide the painkiller here. And the nurse goal is to de decrease the pain. And the doctor's goal is, so the, is the, to clarify the cause of the disease, to provide whether the pain is uh, disappeared by the medicine or not, something like that. So this kind of the implicit goal behind the treatment is clarified by, by this modeling tool. So using this modeling tool, the doctors and the nurse collaboratively, collaboratively they design the medical treatment. So it is, so this is the word thesaurus, a kind of thesaurus, we call this ontology, but they please think this is a dictionary or thesaurus and the, to represent the medical treatment, medical service, and also this is the goal of the medical services. And using this vocabulary, the nurse and doctor pro build the model of the medical treatment. So based on this, the the system try to acquire the working experience knowledge from the nurses. So the, f this template, this statement is automatically generated by the system. So the, th here's a one, two, three, four questions to the nurses when the system um, understand the model of the clinical pathway. So the, based on the mo goal hierarchy, so that nurse do this task to decide to use painkiller and get, get the degree of the pain. This task is part of a pain care task done by nurse for the purpose to increase comfort. And the question is how to judge the degree of pain for the aim to increase the comfort or well, the second question is how to judge the degree of the pain for aim to ensure patient safety. And three, what is key point and some consideration in the cooperation with the medical doctors. This kind of the questions to attain, to share the model of the medical treatment is automatically generated by the system. And the, this kind of the answer, answer is the real answer from the nurse is corrected by the system. So it, it is the natural, <laughs> so the nurse input this sentence by text to the system. So the, if the patient express pain, it should be respected, give the painkiller as soon as possible. Or the, the pain caused by the puncture site and the pain caused by some abnormality in a kidney or other organs distinguish the cause of the pain. If uh, you find or feel 
any sign of abnormality in form doctors immediately. That's kind of the, so the heuristical knowledge is corrected based on the systems. And it is provided on the medical recording system, the, if the nurse mouse over the medical treatment, this kind of the pop-up information appears on the medical recording system. The, what kind of the, the knowledge, corrected knowledge is provided to the nurse. Of course, the experienced knowledge hate this. It's quite noisy. So the, when the, I made a questionnaire about this function, the experienced nurse doesn't uh, appreciate this, but the, they appreciate this is very good for the novice nurses to share, understand the program and share the information with the medical doctors. So this is the questionnaires result the 89% 80, of nurse appreciate the explanation and they follow the suggestion. So the 30% doesn't like it because it's quite noisy. Most of the nurse agree that the explanation are useful for them to share the nursing practical knowledge. And that the average quality of explanation to the patient seem improved. The explanation is hard to understand. It may be more useful if we can use mobile devices to read it at the patient bedside. The explanation is too long for busy nurse to read. It is very useful to knowledge transfer from experts to novice. This is the summary of the questionnaire. So the, what we use this for education is so the by the this pink area, the, using the medical recording system, the system provides the service knowledge online at the And this is the, now the Miyazaki University developed the mobile um, medical recording system. They, they use Android smartphone and uh, they provide, the, they use the six, 600 de devices. And this is the financial analysis system for medical care. So the, as you know, the, all the, almost all the government and force the hospitals to shorten the in-hospital days. But the, by analyzing the medical recording system, the, in some cases, this is a profit. This dot, each dot shows the one patient. And this is a zero pr profit, and the, this is a plus. Uh, they earn the money from the patient. The, 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 this is the lead balance. So the, in general, the, if the, this, this direction is the time, how long the patient stay at the hospital. So in general, the long stay ho patients doesn't become the black benefit. They will be, should be bad, but in the brain surgery case, the, the, um, based on the analysis, the, should the long duration get more benefit for the hospital and also the patient. So the, based on this analysis, the Miyazaki University Hospital decided not to shorten the in-hospital days for brain surgery brain operation patient. This kind of the analysis is also the target of the education program for the, of the service innovation, um, medical service innovation courses. And as you see, the, it is quite hard for the medical staff to, to do this kind of the analysis and share the experience knowledge, empirical knowledge, but the, using the IT 
and the, some knowledge modeling tools, the, we can foster the medical staff to share this kind of knowledge. So the, so the goal of the education is to develop the human resource, to handle the medical recording system, to improve or to innovate the quality of the sub medical services. So this is the goal and medical service innovator personal competency we defined for to develop the this educational programs. So the we have uh, six categories is logical thinking and the collaboration property and the control thinking and the preserve leadership or the plan conception and the cross um, field thinking. So the for example the this table show the logical thinking and the for example, the, as, and the conflict between the medical doctor and the nurse is quite, uh, in typical, typical case, the medical doctor is quite logical and the nurse sometimes becomes very emotional to, how to say, save the, to improve the nurse's quality of the life. So the, there may be some conflict between the medical doctor and the nurses. So they, to improve the quality of the team medical and team medicine, so me, this kind of logical thinking capability is quite important for the, to Im, improve the services. So that we provide the logical thinking development program for to for the medical staffs and the also the cross boundary thinking is more, more important the also important for the team medicine and the plan conception and the the leadership or control thinking and the co production all these uh, related to the medical service innovation skills. So this part, we have a, this, to develop this competency list, so we have a collaboration with the Innovation Value Institute in, of, in Ireland. And this is the, these are the one, seven lectures and the practice. And this is a competency and the, which lecture correspond to the which, con, this table show the, which lecture correspond to the which competencies. And the, based on this table, the, we are currently developing the lectures. Oh, I forget to tell about the goal of target of the education. The, the target of education, the adult practitioner or the medical at the hospital, like a nurse or the information engineer, medical information engineer. And the, we hope the medical doctor, but the, they are too busy, so the, I, we cannot expect them to join the make this education program. So the nurse or medicine, and I don't know the word, yakuzaishi, farm, <laughs> and the information, medical information te technicians or something like that. We provide this course as a master course of the three universities cooperative education master course programs to the so it compared with the uh, as a research in the service science this is very hard to say narrow 
and the deep activities, education, educate the human resource development of the medical service staffs. But the, I do believe the two different approach, both of the different approaches are needed. One is the shallow and the scalable approach to develop the, to improve the medical service and the make a innovate the medical service. And also the, I concern the human resource to improve the, to innovate the medical service. So this activity related to the latter part. And also the, I just introduced this kind of the modeling ontology Vocabulary and the medical service modeling is a, our research activity. And using this modeling to the, uh, we really hope that the, we contribute to innovate the medical service. <coughs> and I think the, I spent all the time. So the another activity, it just show the example. The, this is the workshop. So we call knowledge building method. So the, in this workshop, the nurse and the medical doctor and the patient discuss about how to improve the medical services. They, we develop the education system, learning program to train the thinking skills among the doctor, nurse, and the patients. So to, use, to do the, the main part of the program is the this case writing stage and the discussion stage. This case writing stage is very so different from the other workshop style learning. So the, the participants should write case using this tool very logically. What is fact, what is the reasoning, and what the premise, or something like that. So they each participant represents the idea by using this tool. This is not a high-tech, low-tech tech, low tech tool, just to put some annotation of the, their idea and they should clarify their thinking process very clearly. After only the participant, only after they write their thinking in this style, they can join the discussion. So they, it forces the participants to think deeply, not the emotionally. So the, all the participants even the patient's family or patients or the nurses or the doctors think fast, deeply, think the, the, about the problem deeply, and then they discuss the, with the other stakeholders. So they, it, it works very well. And the, the typical effect of the, this workshop is the nurse, many nurse has a problem in their career when they face a very sad events. So they think the, it is caused by my, my failure or something like that. But there's no logical evidence the, the sad event caused by her failure. So the, if she, write, she wrote this kind of the thinking process clearly, so they, she really realized the, she doesn't make any failure. And the, also the discussion, pa other participant um, accept the, confirm the, she that didn't do any bad thing to the patient. So the many nurses feel better after this discussion session and they really think the service program very positively. So the, this kind of the, uh, how to say, micro level 
human resource development approach I now conducting also. So this is the summary of the, my talk. The, this is the, I call the life cycle of services, service designer, design the service and the provider provides the service. Designer and the provider in general, the medical doctor or the medical analysis. So they, when I, so the Michael's presentation, I asked the question the how the workflow can be shared and cope with the different constraints in among the different hospitals. So the, I understand the Max approach also they provide the framework to um, reflect the local constraint and the, also they provide the mechanism to optimize the connection and the global constraint and the local constraint. So the, in this sense, the design modeling phase is quite important. So the, in my research, the, I go deeply, <laughs> I, I, I mean, the, I really clarify, ex clarify the goal of the, each activities in knowledge level. So the different approach, the maybe the Mike's approach is the more, how to say, the formal connection and the information oriented and ori knowledge oriented approach, I think. And also the recipient, this is patient. Patient feels some value or the function of the treatment and this is the family. So they, to develop the good circulation and the good, how to say, the spiral of the medical service in innovation, the key is to improve, include the patients and the patient's family or the community around, among, around the patient should be involved in the life cycle of the services. So to do that, the peop medical staff should have the ability to understand the patient's mind and the patient's family's minds. So they, in this sense, they, in my, the, at the first part of my talk, I introduced the knowledge science is an integration between the humanity and the science. So they, I think the core part of the service science, human resource development, the, the, to integ integration of the humanity of the science and the, the role of the education of the human, uh, this service science human resource development is the, the, to provide the very useful or the comfortable service to the uh, recipient of the services. So I'm sorry, the, I'm not sure this talk is useful for the NECTEC uh, because the, I think the NECTEC, the mission of the NECTEC is to innovate the more, how to say, scalable technology for business. But the, I think the Macro level research and the micro level research should be, how to say, they collaborate they, to really improve the, this kind of the service activity. Thank you so much. All the in information and all the data on the knowledge science approach for health health service innovation and some example from Japan. Uh, if any of the floor have any questions to Professor Ikeda. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Mitsuru. I enjoyed uh, your talk. It was very informative and it gives a nice uh, example of uh, the ideas that you are currently working in Japan. Um, I wanted to ask you a little bit about uh, workflows, what else? Uh, you mentioned, uh, uh, you gave an example of a workflow at the beginning of your talk 
and this was in Japanese, so I couldn't understand it. But are you using any modeling tools? I mean, how do you create these workflows? How do you analyze them? Is, <coughs> is there any tool that you are using, or are you using sort of informal representations of uh, your workflows? Okay. So the, in Japan, the clinical pathway is very popular. And the, in general, the, they use a paper-based clinical pathway. So the doctor discuss the workflow and write a nurse write it down to the paper. <laughs> That's a typical way. So the, in this system, the similar approach is done, but the, they don't write in this paper. They input the clinical pathway to the system. So the, it's a kind of the handmade clinical pathway. But the, that's the that's a current situation. I really want to change the situation, so the, I develop the we develop the modeling tool by ourselves and provide it to the nurse and doctor and to use it to make a model for the medical recording system. Now the so the from handwork to the more how to say computer assisted level. Any more questions? Uh, if not, then to start uh, a wrap-up session, I would like to ask if any of the expert of the our invited experts have any additional views or additional comments to give to the audience. <laughs> if not, then then will be the closing session now. Uh, for the cop uh, for the copy of the presentation from all experts, we it can be downloaded from NECTEC website uh, under the banner of the NECTEC ISAF 2013. My staff will be showing the URL for downloading all these presentations.